So tell me where you're from. I'm from Vancouver, Canada. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> well, in Canada, nobody could really give me the right answer. Well, I saw only one TMJ specialist, but they didn't do any scans or anything really. They just said, hey, try to do physio. And then I was searching online on YouTube and trying to look for TMJ solutions. I came across Dr. Nick's page, literally watched like 20 probably different videos and saw how intricate the system was here, so I decided that this was the best option to try to figure out what's going on. You got scanned, and what was that like? Sorry? Did you learn from the scanning oh, yeah, and all the like, stuff that we did? Well, you know, I, even just understanding like what was going on, I was already happy, but I was like, you know, now let's see, let's put it to the test. And Yeah. You were a candidate for the bite. Yeah. And we're in the middle of it. And what's it, what's it been like all of a sudden? It's it's mind blowing. Like I, I'm I'm honestly shocked because it's it's literally I could see the results already just after like ten minutes. And we've only worked one side. Yeah. So pretty much like before we did the the procedure, the ice swish on the right side, like it was like a five out of ten. Mm -hmm. But now, like after the procedure, like even like right after I did it, and like. I could hold the ice water there and like I don't feel anything at and all. And your tension, which is the yeah. main reason yeah. you're here, right? So in my temple, it's like on the right side and, and in here, it's relaxing now. So it feels like really, like it hasn't felt this relaxed like since before my accident. So yeah, and your left side, you still got the tension. The left side, I still got the tension. But we haven't touched your left side yet. Yeah, and, and the ice, the ice swish, and all, I only... When I switch it around, I only feel on the left now, not not the right. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's it's unbelievable. Holy! <laughs> Big difference. It's honestly insane. See, so now I understand why I, I can feel it. Yeah, I don't want to ask. Yeah. I don't want people to tell me what they feel. Yeah. I gotta follow the data. Yeah. You're starting to see it now, right? Yeah. It's hard to explain, but this is like a release That's of like perfect. tension. On the right in my, side. In my temple. How about the left side? The left side's still the same. Still the same. Yeah. <laughs> it's way less. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That one hit just all of a sudden nailed it, didn't it? Yeah. Isn't that yeah. crazy? Yeah. Because now I can hold it on the left side and it doesn't hurt. Yeah. Hold <laughs> yeah. your whole mouth beat. A number. <laughs> like one. One. Maybe. Wow. How's okay. the tension? Yeah. It, I don't know, it's different. It does feel a little different. Move your neck around, remember the head thing? Yeah, I would say on the left it's like a one, on the right it's like a zero. All right, give me an uncle. We're done for today for the most part, what do you think? Yeah, no, I'm impressed. <laughs> what, what's it done <coughs> from the morning? <laughs> You're drinking too much water. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the pain sensitivity of the ice is it's it's like completely gone. On the left side, it's very very slight. Yeah. On the right side, I, I can't even feel it. But when I came in, it was like a five out of ten. Pretty much on both sides, it was around a five out of ten. Yeah. And now when I put the water there, I can just hold it there. Whereas when I came in the morning, I would have to swallow the water because it's too cold. Yeah. yeah. So it's pretty much eradicated the cold thing. Yeah, the cold. Which thing. is an allodynia, by the way. An allodynia in medicine is a pain that's disproportionate to the inciting event. In other words, if I drink something cold, it shouldn't be painful. If I touch you, that shouldn't hurt, mm -hmm. right? Like mildly, right? Yeah. Imagine if I touched you and you felt like absolute sharp, hot pain or something, needles. Yeah. Yeah. That's an allodynia. The cold was an allodynia. We've addressed the allodynia, it's gone, right? Yeah. So neurologically, we're knocking on kind of some weird doors. Intention-wise, I feel like my face is kind of like melting a little bit like it's just yeah calming down like tension's releasing yeah what's the face feel like the, the head feels like almost euphoric like i don't know it's hard to describe but it's it's like in a good way releasing yeah yeah like after a good workout maybe you're laying down after a good massage or something yeah yeah, yeah this, this looks really good but like I told you, the beaker of pain, we don't know what percentage of the bite is in your is your problem, right? But even this, like that when I was doing right. this earlier, yeah. when I was pressing into this earlier, remember I was telling you it hurts? Yeah. Now it doesn't hurt. Good. 
Tomorrow we're gonna to run you through the screening protocols again and run all that data. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're gonna look objectively. Cool. What was last night like? How do you feel now compared to before? I would say the main thing that I came here for was I, I always had like constant headaches, like 24 seven. Yeah. Um, Pretty much right after we did the the procedure yesterday, my uh, temple muscles here they just kind of calm down. Yeah, and the headaches are gone. So I would say that the reason I came here is it's the mission's been accomplished. That's great. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah. yeah. So you you still got a few little glitches hanging around though, right? Yeah. Tell us about that. So I would say that like you know because the the left uh, disc is torn out you know obviously it's not going to be perfect but there's yeah. there's still a little bit of pain in in the lower part of the jaw yeah but even that that's gotten a lot better uh one thing i was telling your assistant as well on that last one when we did the bites to check the bites yep my bite feels stronger but also when i bite really hard down at first when i would do that it would kind of make this part all tense mm -hmm. Now I could hold that bite down pretty hard and it feels stronger, but it doesn't hurt as much here either. There's more balance. Yeah. 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 Based on all the digital metrics, the EMG data, everything that we're doing to recheck, you're, you're looking way better. We'll never get you perfect because you're, you've got a damaged joint on the left side. And in addition, you damaged it when you were younger, you've got a growth defect there. Yeah. That left jawbone isn't the same size as your right side. Yeah. That half your mandible. So I can't change that. Mm -hmm. You can never change that. But you know what? Body adapts, and we're helping you adapt. We're chain, we're we're catching your bite up to the status of your joints. Yeah, that are relatively stable and adapted. Even though the left side's jacked, it's not that bad. Your right side's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I wish both sides were that way. This would have been like a slam dunk, almost perfect fix. Are you glad you had it done? Yes. Do you have any advice for other people? Uh, I would recommend that if you have any issues to come out. Like I, I came all the way from Canada, and like, you know, it wasn't easy. Like. Because I was unvaccinated, I actually had to drive across the border first and then actually fly because Canada wouldn't let me fly here directly. So I had to go through, jump through some hoops, <laughs> but uh, I thought it was worth it, right? And I didn't even know, to be honest, I was willing to take the risk of getting rejected at the border. Uh, and I still paid for everything, but I was willing to take that risk because I knew that this was really the only way that I could find to to get a solution just based on watching other videos and seeing similarities of what other people were going through and yeah. seeing their their changes and now I'm sitting in that in the same seat so it's kind of funny but I can see that uh, it was definitely worth it the diagnostic thing was a big deal wasn't it yeah you, you were made to understand your problems yeah right so it's it's like and you can't even say that it's it's like a made-up result because like they show you live like First, they show you, they, they, and then they compare all the muscles, how they're reading and all that. So, yeah. you know, you can actually see live, like, you know, it's not like, yes, I feel better, but also I can see the results on the screen. So the results are correlating. The numbers, the EMG values, the muscle numbers, yeah. the bite stuff, yeah. right? All that, the MRI, the yeah. CT, that gives you an idea what's going on. Yeah. And we explain as we go, so you'll understand what you're looking at. Yeah. And I think that if someone in Canada was able to do this, like it, it would be amazing. But, you know, from what I, all the research I did for like two, three years, I couldn't find anything even close to this in, in Canada yeah. or even the States, I don't think, or even the world, to be honest. Yeah, we, we can't help everybody, but we can help everybody figure out at least part of what's wrong with them. You know, some people like you are amenable to the bite. Some people we can't do the bite thing. It's just not a good case. Mm -hmm. And we tell them. Yeah. And, you know, but they, they leave here at least having an idea. A different angle on what's going on that's very objective and very scientifically um, oriented yeah so well I'm glad you're doing better man thank you no, I really appreciate it thanks a lot